issue I'm calling it on-demand menus. It will change the way that bud tenders communicate with dispensary customers. We've already got a bunch of customers in our beta program. It allows bud tenders the opportunity to actually use a remote control in their hand, and they're physically changing the content in real time and drawing up videos that can answer a customer's question. From MJ Bulls Media, it's the Raising Cannabis Capital Show. Today on Raising Cannabis Capital, we are joined by someone I first spoke to in the fall. And after I got off the phone, I said, I got to get this guy on the show. And finally, I'm so excited to introduce everyone to Jeremy Jacobs, CEO of Enlightened. Welcome to the MJ Bulls podcast. Oh, nice to be here. Nice to be here. And like you said, Dan, it's just been too long. And so today's, today's great to finally finish something we started a long time ago. Absolutely. For our listeners, heads up, if you're a dispensary owner, manager, license holder, you're going to want to listen closely to the show because Enlightened's products will make your dispensary better. There's no two ways about it. Jeremy, you're known for menu board. If I'm not mistaken, you invented the menu board. There's just so much to talk about with the boards, but maybe before we get into that, you can give everybody just an overview of Enlighten. Just tell us a little bit about the company. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, Enlighten's been around now for about two years. Over the last two years, we've amassed 650 customers, both for our in-store network and our diverse products. And we make all sorts of enterprise-level retail technology products. And I do believe we are the only custom dev shop in the space that I'm aware of. Well, you're unique in a lot of things for sure. I mean, when you think about walking into, <laughs> when you think about walking into a dispensary, just visualize this. You see these these big screen TVs behind the counter and on the walls, and you also see some iPads in the showcases, and of course at checking out. Enlighten has products for each one of these devices. Let's start off with, with the big screens. Okay, so we all know what a menu board is, and I think, think that. But you have other things. This Talk about the Captivate, what you do in the break rooms, sure. the social wall idea. I love this idea. Oh, absolutely. So I've been in the digital sign business now for 10 years. And 10 years ago, we didn't actually call it the digital signage business. We didn't even really have a name for it. And so a lot of these digital signage products that you see, they've been leveraged in other industries and they've been successful. And so there's a multitude of them. Some of them are consumer facing. And so a retail operation would use that to influence consumer behaviors. Maybe that in behavior influences to educate, educated people are better customers. They spend more money. They come back more frequently. Maybe it's to promote a sale. A couple of those products, Enlightened TV is the most popular. That's our education network. There's a lot of in-store networks out there. Ours is the one that is driven most on, on product education and on consumer education. Second is our smart menus. Uh, They're the most integrated menus. We have integration with basically every POS in the field. They're the most customizable. We literally custom design each and every one specifically for that shop. So they're not templates you choose from. Uh, And they're the most affordable. We've recently slashed the prices. And so that's a great product. It's a must-have. It's almost like having a website. You're going to have one. I've got a new uh, digital menu product we can talk about today if you want to. I'm calling it on-demand menus. It will change the way that bud tenders communicate with dispensary customers. We've already got a bunch of customers in our beta program. It allows bud tenders the opportunity to actually use a remote control in their hand, and they're physically changing the content in real time and drawing up videos that can answer a customer's question. So then, as you said, in the break room, we even have a product called Break Room TV, which is used to train bud tenders on specific things the dispensary wants to and just update them on scheduling and you know maybe safety issues maybe there's an audit coming things of that nature a lot of different digital science products yeah and tell everybody about the social wall i think that's really cool the idea behind the social wall that that we leverage is that your customers are going to be your best salespeople. That's the general concept behind that. So how do you take a very satisfied customer and get them to market for you? And the answer to that is to gamify that experience. And so what we've done is made it so that a customer can come in, they can snap a picture of themselves in front of a big video wall you have, or maybe an awesome looking display case, or maybe there's some excellent artwork, or maybe just a sign outside is really cool. But as long as you have a really great place for a customer to make a photograph, they hashtag your dispensary name or whatever hashtag you want to follow, and they instantly populate on the screen. 
And so that's why they do that. So they get that 15 minutes of fame, if you will, and can see themselves up on the big screen. And what you gain as a dispensary is now the 2,000 Twitter or Instagram followers knows that they love you and that they're in that store and that's a great place to buy. And social influencing has completely changed marketing. That's about the best you can get for the best ROI, completely free. You know, you didn't have to pay that customer to do that. Oh, yeah, it's just a great idea. It's the warm intro. Jump now to the iPads. You have them right in the showcases. Yeah, so I don't know if you've been in MedMen or Euflora or stores like that where you look down and there's a tablet and it has that information about particular products and you can navigate through that. Uh, that was our original showcase product. It's, again, fully customizable to match the branding. Our newest version now also offers self-service options. A lot of people are looking to us to help them bust the lines. And so our product is able to, again, integrate with basically all the point-of-sale systems that are out there so you don't have double duty and you would order from an iPad on our kiosk. And it's for the customer that knows what they're looking for, that doesn't want to stand in line, and to help cater to them differently than the customer that needs an education. Yeah, and it also frees up your bud tenders to help them more with upsells. Yeah, and so the product's unique in the fact it knows related products. And so we know, sort of like Amazon, they'll go, hey, I know you bought this thing. Other people that bought that thing bought the batteries that go with it, yeah. the cover that goes on it. Next thing you know, you're, you started at 20 bucks and now you're $300. And so the same concept applies with us as we can surface relevant and related type products. So we definitely employ those same suggestive selling techniques. It's like, would you like some fries with that burger only taken to the next level? <laughs> you got it. Absolutely. And depending upon what your product mix is, sometimes you can really take a customer down that channel and end up selling four or five things instead of just one. There's over 600 dispensaries already in the Enlightened family. Each one of them gets their own customization to that specific location, and the advertising to that specific location is all customized as well. Is that how it works? Yeah, so on our Enlightened television network, yeah, each one of those are their own channel. They play some of their own stuff where they, you know, maybe you want to promote the fact that you're doing a cooking expo on a weekend and showing people how to make infused meals. Uh, maybe you have a daily special you want to promote, a loyalty program you're trying to get more people to sign up for. And so maybe it's that. So you get your own content specific to your store, and you get state-related news and national-related news and all the educational content. But each one of those are definitely custom designed for each one of those stores. And so that's very culturally relevant kind of thing that you might see on the screen. Oh, that's really cool. And I think, and this leads me right to what I think is the coolest piece of technology that you guys offer, this, this traffic wise. It's just so fascinating. You got to explain this to everybody. Sure. So, in the digital signage space and digital network spaces, all of the operators have these estimated numbers of what they believe their traffic's to be. And historically, that's been a really big problem because when those were audited, none of them were ever very accurate. So we saw that as a bad thing. So originally, we sought out to just be able to accurately count the same way the Internet accurately can count how many people go to a specific web page. We wanted to be able to count how many people got close enough to this TV to actually be able to see it. So what we created was a listening device. And what it does is it just knows that there's phones there. And so we're just listening to see that there's phones there. We don't know whose phones they are. We don't gather any information. We don't know anything about what anybody's browsing or anything of that nature. But what we do know is footfall and dwell time. So we can tell you with absolute precision accuracy how many people came in. We can tell you how long they stayed there. And then as long as they keep the same phone, we can tell you how frequently they return. You can overlay that data with your loyalty programs. And this data layer gives you access to open up a lot more opportunities and actionable items on other data layers that you have when you're able to lay this on top of it. You get to see things that never before could you see. Wow. It's just fascinating that there's that, that technology is now available to us. And, and then consolidating it and integrating it with everything else that you're doing. Well, let's talk about expansion. You guys are raising money, but I'm not sure how much you want to talk about it. Yeah, so there's not a lot we can say about our fundraising that we're doing right now, but we are going to be moving into a Series B. We've had a great opportunity with our Series A, and it's led us to, like I said, 650 enrollments. I can't discuss any terms. It's very likely it'll stay in-house. We've had a lot of great support from our investor base. We've done a lot of great things, and they've been very supportive of that. 
for those of you who might be interested, I know we get a lot of people say, how do, how do we buy enlightened stock or is there going to be an enlightened stock? It's a very common question on our website. Anybody interested, uh, I would encourage to hit our website up or reach out to one of us individually in case we do open the roundup outside of our family and friends here. I would expect that we'll get enough cash, though, Dan, to, to shed a little light to be able to continue to run this machine to to the moon and back. Well, that's exciting stuff. Jeremy Jacobs, CEO of Enlighten, his email address, Enlighten's website, all that will be on the MJ Bulls website. So if anybody has any questions or wants to reach out and beg to get into this Series B, I'll have all that information on our website. We don't want people begging, but yeah, great. If, if they're interested, I would hit us up for sure. Jeremy, I really appreciate you being on the show, and it was finally yeah. great to have you back on. Can, can we expect to have you on again sometime? I would love to. We have so many things, as we talked about before we jumped on the mic. There's so many things we were not able to cover in such a short period of time. So, you know, any time. And, and also, uh, we need to get together. I've, I've got my blog. I'd like to write a start whole story with you and, and, uh, and expand this MJ Bulls listeners. Well, we'd appreciate any help you can give us. But this was great. And our listeners are going to appreciate this. Thank you.